everyone, CFL Park Hopper here, and today I'm at Bush Gardens, and I'm going to check out their food and wine festival. So this festival is going to run from February 20th until April 25th, every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday here at the park. So we're going to go in, try out some food. They also have live music. Let's get started. All right, so I went with a food and, and wine sample lanyard. This one's 15 items for pass holders, but it's the same price as a 12 item lanyard, which is their most expensive which would be $65 for 12 items. They also had, I think, a 10 item and a five item, which would be a little bit less each. So you can decide um, like how much you wanna eat and you know what's gonna be best for you. I'll tell you, typically I can eat about three or four items by myself in one time coming. However, since I do have an annual pass, I will come more than once. Um, and I'm here with someone else today, so that way we can share and I can get a few more items today as well. But um, I guess you'll have to decide for yourself what items would be best. So like if I was coming for, by myself for one day, I'd probably just get the five item. But if you're coming with your family, you might want to get like the 12 item. Or if you're a pass holder, it can be 15 items. And again, if you're going to come for multiple days of the festival, let's say you're going to come for one whole weekend or you're going to come two different times, this lanyard is good for the entire festival. So if I'm buying it today, um, February 20th, it's good all the way till April 25th, any day of the festival as well. So keep that in mind. All right, we're gonna start off with our first food items. We got some Mexican to start off with, the sh drunken shrimp tostada and a pork tamale. So let's get started. Okay guys, so as you can see from my plate, I pretty much devoured what I was eating. Now, the shrimp on the drunken shrimp tostada was very, it was chilled. I don't know if it's supposed to be served chilled, if that's the idea they're going for it. However, it was ex excellent in taste. The taste was right on. It had a nice little spice and lime kick together. Uh, with some um, cilantro, tomato, onion, some cheese on there, and some avocado. And it was really delicious. And it was fine chilled, really. Especially like on a hot day, I think it would go great. I just don't know if that was what they were going for, was for the shrimp to be chilled, or if it was supposed to be warm. Because the pork tamale was cold. Like, that should have been hotter um, in room. And it was just kind of like at a cool temperature. But it also had great flavor, great seasoning. So the flavors of the food are spot on. Um, I would have liked the tamale for sure to be hot. And it was just uh, lukewarm, almost on the cold side. The shrimp, I could deal with chilled. That was good. So I'm just curious if that's what the intent or not. But we're gonna keep trying some food. Also wanted to... All right, we decided to get two hot dog sliders. One is a Cuban. So it's got um, the pulled pork, manchego cheese, and pickles and a sauce. And the other one is a barbecue one with some barbecue brisket and a different sauce. And it looks, I'm not sure what kind of cheese. So let's give them a taste and then I'll fix. All right guys, so here's my review on the hot dogs. They're okay. The one that was supposed to be Cuban was more like a barbecue pork taste. It wasn't a Cuban flavored pork. Um, so I don't think you could call that a Cuban. I think it was just like a barbecued pulled pork over a hot dog. And the sauce on it was a barbecue sauce. So not really what a Cuban would be. A Cuban would be mustard and pickles and cheese. And then the one that was barbecue, I did like the beef brisket on it. That was tasty. But overall, I wouldn't order either of those again. So, um, so far my favorite thing has been that drunken shrimp tostada. And we're gonna keep trying some more stuff. Okay, so next up we got the Fontina cheese meatballs. And I'm gonna admit they look kind of small. It looks kind of like one meatball, but I believe it's two right here. And then this is the espresso rubbed tenderloin with a white truffle uh, mashed potato. So I'm gonna give these a taste. All right, so I tried the meatball. It was pretty good. Um, it had good flavor. There was actually three small meatballs is what it was once I broke them up. And this here is the um, espresso rubbed tenderloin. And it's okay, it's kind of bland. I get a tiny taste of espresso, but not really like a lot. It's not very strong at all. And the white truffle mashed potatoes is good. It's, I'd say overall, it's kind of a bland dish. I think it could have more flavor than it does. So I like the meatballs, I think, better than the, than this, if I had to choose. But still so far, that drunken shrimp taco is still my favorite. All right, for dessert, I got some beignets. So I'm going to give these a taste. They look delicious pretty good they're a slight bit doughy not as dry flaky as I'd like them to be 
but they're actually they're pretty good i would get them again so so far these and the drunken shrimp tostada are, are the best two things i've had um next i'm going to show you some more areas of the festival and where they have some live entertainment all right so we're back here on guazi field right now check out the brand new iron guazi roller coaster it's got the tampa bay buccaneers flag hanging off of it because they just won the super bowl um, but this roller coaster should hopefully open sometime here in 2021. I'm fingers crossed it's going to open. But here on Guazi Field is they do have concerts. It's a giant open air field and there is a stage over here. And they did say that concerts will be starting in March. So uh, this is the first weekend of the festival, February 20th. Again, it runs all the way to April 25th, Friday, Saturdays and Sundays. So if you check out the Bush Gardens Tampa website and you click on um, events, and click on the food and wine festival in the next week or two they should start releasing what um to guazi field here during the food and wine festival the entertainment they bring uh over the next couple of months all right here at the sweet sips booth they have fresh baked cupcakes um i don't know if these are meant to taste like alcohol or if they have alcohol baked in but they have a margarita madness cupcake a bailey's bliss cupcake a Senorita Sangria Cupcake and a Bougie Bacon and Bourbon Cupcake and you can get two for $5.99. They also have Hummingbird Donuts which are Apple Cider Red Velvet Donuts and secret Sweet Bourbon Caramel and Pecans on them. Now those sound kind of good as well. And they also have like Cupcake Vineyard Wines here which I think sound pretty good. All right, this is the Kahlua and vanilla ice cream with strawberry chocolate sauce waffle cone. Let's give it a taste. All right, guys, so this is really good. It's almost like having a banana split. Vanilla ice cream, chocolate sauce. It's got fresh bananas and strawberries. And then they put these little like red candies on it. Super good. Um, you can get it with or without Kahlua, by the way. So it can be kid friendly. So I recommend. Well, everyone, I had a pretty good time here today at Bush Gardens Food and Wine Festival tried some pretty good food um i will definitely be back to finish off my lanyard and maybe check out a concert so if you're going to be in tampa between february 20th and april 25th on weekends friday saturdays and sundays this food festival is running here at bush gardens check it out and if you like today's video hit like and subscribe down below to see more and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload a new video which is usually once a week thanks for watching